Hello guys from a sweltering London today. Uh, the Arsenal news today, the agenda is dominated by Ivan Gazidis. Uh, I'm sure you've been aware of the, the rumours linking him with a switch to AC Milan. The club had been eerily quiet on those, but they have now come forward with a statement. Uh, let's have a little look, see what it says. I'll read you the statement now. It's from Sir Chips Keswick and it says, We are aware of the speculation surrounding our CEO Ivan Gazidis. We know he receives many offers from organisations inside and outside the game as he's a hugely respected figure. He has never accepted any of these opportunities and has never spoken about them publicly. He's always been fully committed to taking Arsenal forward and is currently working hard in Singapore with our new head coach Unai Emery as we prepare for the new season. Well, you'll have to forgive me, but that is a statement that doesn't really say too much at all, does it? I mean, it's a little bit like when... Uh, there was speculation about Arsene Wenger. I think it was last season. Maybe it was even the season before that. And I think it was the Chips again who came out with a statement saying, we are aware of the, the speculation surrounding Arsene Wenger. And that was kind of it. Uh, and this feels very much the same. There's no guarantee that Gazidis is going to be here next season. There's no guarantee that he's committed to the club beyond the current transfer window. Yes, he's in Singapore now. But what does that mean? I mean, he could easily accept a job at any time. So, uh, you know, I think Sir Chips has got a bit of a disastrous reputation at Arsenal at the moment. But in this situation, I just can't help but feel it would have been... If you haven't got anything to say, don't say it. I mean, this really hasn't helped in any way. I think it's only going to increase speculation because this was a story that was being covered primarily over in Italy. Uh, and now it's picking up more traction in the UK. And it does feel, to an observer as if Gazidis might be going. Well, that would be a big surprise because it's felt for the last couple of years like he was waiting for this moment, waiting for Arsene Wenger to go so that he could have more control of the footballing side of the club. He is the guy who's put this structure in place. He's the guy who appointed Sanyehi, who appointed Mislintat, who put that management team together, who was integral in the appointment for Unai Emery, who led that managerial search front and centre, centre stage in the spotlight, his appointment, his time, his Arsenal, and now he looks like he could be going. I mean, it's difficult to find a logic for that. And I think ultimately it just comes down to money. At the end of the day, he's not a footballer. He's not an Arsenal fan. He's a guy doing a job. He's a chief executive. And it's very rare that a chief executive lasts as long in any job as Gazidis has done in this one. Ten years. Maybe he senses... The tide might be changing in the boardroom. He feels the increasing influence of Josh Kroenke. He wonders if he might get sidelined in years to come. And he thinks this is a good time and a good opportunity to go. And I don't doubt that AC Milan are offering him an awful lot of money. If he does go, I think it's a blow to Arsenal. I think whatever you think of Gazidis, you know, he's got a lot of positive press this summer. He's been seen as a guy who's very efficient, who's got things done, who's moved swiftly to help Arsenal into this new era. And ultimately, he had a good working relationship with Sven and with Raoul. Raoul's someone he's known, for example, for many, many years. They've got a friendship going back, I think, almost as far as the 1990s. So to lose that relationship is potentially a problem. I also think it leaves Arsenal with a, a vacuum to fill. And one thing we know about Arsenal is they can take a long time to fill those voids. I mean, I think it took the best part of a year to appoint Gazidis in the first place. I think it was Keith Edelman doing an interim job at the time. And do you trust this board to appoint the right man? You know, we worried about them appointing a manager, but at least Gazidis was in place at that time without him. I don't know who's going to be the new CEO. At least Sven and Raoul and Hus family, the contract negotiator, are all in place. There won't be such a massive void as when David Dean left. He kind of covered all of those responsibilities. So that individual accountability will help us. One final thought. Are we being played here? I mean, it feels like even Gazidis is going. But when you look at back at this summer, he has stage managed it brilliantly. If you think about Arsene's departure, the way that he was there leading that press conference, he was the guy who put himself in the frame. Then Arsenal went out and did business early. Suddenly, Gazidis, who was being lamented last season, was a bit of a hero in this summer. And is the final act of this extraordinary display that he's put on to stay at Arsenal despite a job offer from, from, from elsewhere is a very public offer from AC Milan. You know, that's coming out from Italy. 
he's flirting with them, he's saying, maybe I'll take it, maybe I won't. Is that part of his ploy to make himself more valuable, more integral at Arsenal? You can see it on social media, people are disappointed that Gazidis could be going. You would not have seen that even six months ago. Is this part of that plan to cement his status among the Arsenal fans, cement his power with the board and with Stan Kroenke, and get more money out of the club and get more goodwill out of the club for turning down an offer from elsewhere? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he'll go, but I've just got a little hunch this might be another part of Gazidis' plan. He is incredibly good at managing his reputation and managing the press. Is this part of it? We shall see. Um, and there'll be more Arsenal news, no doubt, as the preseason ramps up. Speak to you soon. Cheers.